Hey guys, you sitting right there. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for checking out my channel, Irish Guy JG. Jesse, right here in the house. I want to share a few things. It's lunch time for me, but the rain hit, so I got a few extra minutes to uh, actually commune with you guys and talk about what's on my mind and, and talking about bringing the body of Christ back together. And, and I have a saying, I, I want to read something for you. A great multitude, which no man could number, as the great gatherer of the, the Gentile multitude, redeemed by blood, numbered by God, never to be numbered by men, being like the sands on the seashore, innumerable. And I cannot remember who said that quote or where I got it, so forgive me, but that is just, it's powerful because we as believers, we have numbers, we have power in the blood of Christ. We find salvation through that, but we also have, can call on Jesus Christ at any time to bless us, to, to work a miracle, do anything. We call on the Holy Spirit and we call on Christ to come and work in our lives. And as the body of Christ, we are innumerable. We have so many numbers Let's show them. Let's get the word to the streets about Jesus Christ. Let's get the gospel to the streets. Let's do everything we can to show compassion, kindness, respect, loyalty, dignity, honor. All those things that we exhibit as believers, we need to walk it out. So other people can find hope and encouragement and faith in that. So they will find the message of Jesus Christ as well. And then they're off to the races. So here we are. Wow, Thursday. Here's an old Sanskrit proverb I want to read to you. Forgive me, it's not from the Bible, but it is from my 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 devotional book that I read, and it's all faith-based, you guys. I love it. Look to this day, for it is life, the very life of life. In its brief course lie all the realities and all the verities of existence, the bliss of growth, the splendor of action, the glory of power. For yesterday is but a dream, and tomorrow is only a vision. But today, well lived, makes every yesterday a dream of happiness and every tomorrow a vision of hope. Look well, therefore, to this day, an old Sanskrit proverb. Oh, uh, man, you can't fault another uh, religion for coming up with good good proverbs and good motivation. Um, just because I'm a Christian and follow Christ, that doesn't mean that we can't follow uh, and, and, and read other uh, enlightened people's uh, 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 proverbs and, and scripture and stuff. But... I have a great number of books on so many different things. Uh, I like to be educated. I like to, to read and, and watch and, and think and educate myself and inform myself on what's going on, what's happened, what has happened, what's right, what's wrong. And I've, I've come to this point in my life and in this point of my recovery where I just put everything in the hands of God in the, in, at the feet of Jesus, right? We lay our, our, our burdens and our troubles and our cares and our prayers at the feet of Jesus. And we thank him in the name of Jesus. Amen. Because he lifts those, all those things up. He puts them in a big bundle and he takes care of them for us. Not in the way that we want and not the way that we always expect, but it always happens, right? We always come through. Today is, is here. The sun isn't up, but the sun rose this morning. The world hasn't ended. Jesus hasn't come back yet. So we need to do everything as we can as believers, and I'm telling you, I can do more myself. I need to do more. I need to, to tell other people on the streets about Jesus Christ. I'm out there. I'm in the real world, as are you guys, at your work. At, at, you know, Tell somebody the power of prayer. Um, give them affirmations on, on things that they need to hear, positive stuff feedback positive we're moving onward and upward in the body of christ so that's the message today you guys and i'm on fire for it but i just think that if we have so many numbers and we're innumerable right we as believers have so many numbers out there that believe in christ if we kind of all banded together and prayed more and meditated more on god's word and thought more about being more kind more compassionate more 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 respectful and more loving and 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 we become more like christ and that's that's the goal we're never going to be sinless we're sinners we're human sinners but god and jesus came to this lord he came to earth to show us a way a, a, a path and in god's word he lays it all out in the bible and i love you guys for tuning in wow i just love it so i think I think that today being Thursday and the weekend coming up, maybe I'll do a cool video this weekend for some for the new people and 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 just love your guys's um, um, respect and attention and the likes and, and all the comments and stuff. But let's 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 start making some moves, you guys, because although we see a lot of doom and gloom out there, we can make this world a better place and we can start to do that just in small small little steps so every everybody counts everybody matters everybody's important there's a there's an important role for every single person or vital in the body of Christ and when we have that unification even in prayer if even if you pray more and you just stop and pray more that communication with God builds up it's got it's 
it's got a purpose, you guys. Prayer, meditation on God's Word has a purpose, and when you soak it in, you can you can exhibit it. You can walk it out. It shines through your through your daily, through your words, through your actions, through everything you do. It shines through, and what a blessing that God allows us to do that. So we thank Him in the name of Jesus, and you know what? I haven't said this in a while, but I'm going to say the serenity prayer for everybody out there. God. Grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. In Jesus' name, amen. We ask all those blessings in the name of Jesus always, 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 always. And pray to the Holy Spirit because he'll come and fill your heart. He'll fill your heart. He'll melt your heart and, and soften it. And he'll, It's malleable. Your heart is malleable. Even you, even I, even anybody, nobody's heart is so cold that it cannot be turned towards Jesus. Let's turn some hearts towards Jesus. Love you guys. Keep your eyes to the sky. For the same way Jesus left, he'll return. Right? Amen for that. Love you guys. Thanks to all my new subscribers. I'll get a list and thank every one of you because I appreciate everybody that's taking the time out to, to look at this content and, 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 and hope, hopefully find a, some encouragement, some hope, some message. It's a message of hope for Christ. Amen. Love you guys.